my theme is the Waterland game, which is a play off of the Candyland game. And basically, I wanted to come up with a canoe that would appeal to kids and adults both. So it would be more of an educational piece on ways to conserve water and make it kind of fun. And it is basically a game that starts in the middle and you can kind of make your way around the canoe and it talks about different ideas and things you can try. I'm Walt Backer. I'm the artist that painted this canoe here. And, and the theme was uh, water usage and bank with manufacturing and jobs and just how the community, you know, uses the water. On this side here is more like a cityscape. I wanted to have a variety of people doing different things. So everybody's very individually painted. But here's where we are right now. We're about right in here. This is the new Cummins building. A few other buildings in the skyline here. The Salesforce Tower, Regents Tower, City County Building, and Christ Cathedral Church. Hello, this is my canoe and it's all these um, wildlife that you could find in the White River today and a lot of these, these animals are very ancient, some are endangered, some are rare, some are very populous and like the shov shovel nose stur sturgeon is one of the oldest fish and it can still be found in the White River. It's from around 250 million years ago from the Triassic period, and it's still alive in our river today, which is amazing. You might actually see it. Some creatures that have been reintroduced, like the peregrine falcon, and the bald eagle on the other side, and the, the wild turkey, and you can find those flying over the White River today. Well, you know, we use a lot of water just in our businesses, you know, you heat, you cool, and you really need to worry about all this sludge just going back in and kind of messing up the, the ecosystem down there. I think it's really important to protect the rivers, not just the White River, but all rivers in Indiana and throughout our country. Our bodies of water are drying up with climate change, and I think um, it's really important to take all of that into consideration, not just for wildlife, but even in our own personal use every day. I mean, just watering your yards and, um, you know, just thinking about those things, like how does that impact our rivers? And the water is the life source to everything. And I find it as a very peaceful place. And I think it's fascinating that it's been around for so long in Indiana and it's such a treasure. I love to go to the White River and I think it's beautiful and I think there should be more paths and trails and access to it because it's just a wonderful, wonderful place for people to spend their weekends and extra time. So being able to take the kayaks and be out on the water and explore nature in a way that's a little bit more up close and personal from the water aspect and seeing the wildlife. So we love getting out on the water and taking the kayaks and playing and exploring and hiking. So Just for a nice afternoon, just to rent a canoe up in Noblesville and just go for the afternoon and go all the way down to 96th Street or something like that. You know, it's heaven. You know, you're in a whole different world then. Find a canoe near you. Meet the artist. Learn more about the Collective Tap podcast on our website.